I talked to legal scholars who were, you know, very erudite, very, very knowledgeable and experienced in, in copyright law who were on, you know, either side of this issue. And, uh, but I, I kind of came down marginally on the side that I think there's a chance the courts are going to say that the making of copies of this data for the purposes of AI training you know, is a kind of fair use. They will create a kind of fair use exemption for AI training. But I think no court is going to be okay with plagiaristic outputs. So if your output, you know, as we saw with the New York Times case, if you can prompt the model, and, and I don't, you know, it doesn't even, I don't think it matters how you do that. I mean, you know, I know OpenAI thought that the New York Times, they contend the New York Times was kind of unfair in the way it prompted the model, but um, because they fed it exact, you know, portions of a story and got it to essentially complete the story. Um, but I, I don't think that doesn't matter. I think the court will say, look, if, it, if it's an exact copy output, that is a problem. That's a copyright violation. And that's still going to be an issue. So companies are going to have to deal with that either through some kind of filtering technology or they're going to have to go back and license this content such that they are, have a right to do that anyway.